Welcome to YouTube and today we are going to continue with our Torrent series and we are going to look at why people choose to leech, why they are not willing to share the data in the Torrent community. Right, so in the last video we saw there are three types of users in the Torrent community. One is a seeder, peer and leecher. Seeder is the one who has the complete set of file and he is willing to share the data with the others at very high speed. I mean in terms of upload so if the seeder is uploading the data at very high speed so you can take an advantage of that and your file download gets completed pretty fast right so that's a seeder peer is the one who does not have the hundred percent of a file right so peer can be at 0.5 percent 97 percent 99 percent 70 80 anything if he has not completed the hundred percent that means that person is a peer and the good thing about the peer is peer is not only does the download but peer also does the upload so he gains the data from the others and he gives the data back to others at very high speed right so again the high speed is there so you know you're helping the community and the file gets downloaded on their machine again at pretty fast right so that's a good thing and lastly let's talk about the leecher leecher is kind of a mean guy who only you know downloads the data from the others but when it comes to you know giving the data to the others he uh, nearly blocks out everyone or maybe he doesn't share data at all so that's a leecher okay now the reason why people a lot of people do leeching because if you go to kickasstorrent.com and if you look at a specific you know a torrent site I mean a torrent of a movie or game anything you will see two things at the top left side one would be the cedar count and one with the leecher count so you're getting it right so why people do that the one of the major reason people do that because of the ISP the internet service provider when you sign up with the internet service I mean with the ISP you get it right okay so what they do is they put you through a plan which way you want and they give and they give you a bandwidth you know let's say 80 gigabytes and they they say like you know you have to stay within this period if you go beyond that so we're gonna do either two things first either we're gonna slow down your speed let's say you're the 4 mbps I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take your speed down back to 1 mbps if you burst that threshold or the second is if you go beyond the 80 gigabytes so I'm gonna charge you extra for the extra download right so people are worried most of the times so when you are not aware that you know you're using uh, a torrent software for the first time so what you do is you start downloading the movies but the torrent software is uh, you know or when get started at first a lot of people don't know how to configure a torrent right so what happens is you know uh, while downloading the movie you're not only doing the download but you also doing the upload at very high speed so basically let's say if you're downloading a data of 8 GB so it's like you know you have downloaded the 8 GB completely but apart from that you have nearly done the upload of I would say 4 or 5 GB to the others as well so basically you have you know wasted your lot of bandwidth and let's say if you do the same for like you know 10 or 15 movies in the month so basically what you're doing is you have bursted your bandwidth but that thing you initially don't realize now what happens is when you look at the logs you see you know uh, you have burst the bandwidth pretty bad and then you start to realize why this happened and how this happened then on after doing a research you find out that this is happening because of the torrent software it not only downloads the data but it also does the uploading so now you start now the people will start searching for a way you know where you can either block the upload completely or you can upload the you know keep the upload at you know at a very minimal level let's say 5 or 10 kbps it depends up to the leecher what they do is so that is the reason why you know the people choose to leech or they don't want to burst the bandwidth they don't want to go with the extra charges or you know slow down the speed so that's what they do <clears throat> and now this there is uh, again a one more type they are a special psychopaths I would say they have the ultimate bandwidth they have the ultimate speed but still what they do is they keep on downloading the good stuff for them and when it comes to the upload they completely blocks out right so those are the people actually bad for the community and there are I believe there are a lot of people out there doing that anyways so I hope you got the idea how the system works and why people doing the leeching right and I hope 
this helps and if it does help then guys please subscribe to my channel share this with your uh, video with your friends and if you're looking at the wallpaper yes she is hot and I wish my wife is not listening to this crap or watching this crap otherwise I'll be gone for let's say so long that it would become you know very difficult for me to come back onto this channel yeah anyways let's cut the crap uh, once again thank you for watching this good night and take care